Now we understand that Manchester City have been in contact with West Ham. And the players' representatives, Martin, um, it's understood Rice would be willing to join them if a deal can be struck. Mm. Now, Arsenal are in, mm -hmm. knocking on the door. If Manchester City in with Pep, of course, mm -hmm. yeah. saying, yeah, we'd love him. To me, it seems like the Etihad would be the ultimate destination. Or am I jumping the gun on that? No, if you, if you are talking about um, if Declan Rice's um, ambition now is to win major trophies and relatively quickly, then Manchester City are, a, are, are ahead of Arsenal in, in that game. Arsenal haven't won for some considerable time. Arsenal have, I, I hate to use this word, a project in mind and it's going fine. That I thought, that, you know, last season was that they were the team that chased Manchester City for a, uh, sorry, didn't chase them. In fact, they were in front. You don't and like the word project. I don't. I don't like the word project in in football because it just doesn't exist. You know, it, it really doesn't. This idea that a manager goes in and uh, wants to know what the youth team are doing it's just nonsense. It's. Um, uh, You're listen, not having I, it. I, 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 I there is no project. It's not. There's no. Such no I thing. agree with him. I yeah. agree with. I agree. There's yeah, no yeah, such yeah. thing. Honestly, in, t in today's game, you know. Um, right. Right. Okay. So getting back to the point. Well, getting back if, to this, what if, are Arsenal up to? Planning a third offer. Yeah, that that's true. That, that, you know, if if they if they want him, I'm sorry. If Manchester City are in, if they are in and they are making, then Arsenal probably didn't see this coming. Probably thought that they were going to get the player in their terms. You know, eventually, um, I think that they have to they have to go. For uh, as far as West Ham are concerned, that's great news. If Manchester City are in, because now they are going to get the money for the player that they feel that they that, that they they want to have. So, but. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting one. Um, I mean, if Gundogan goes to Barcelona yeah. and Kovacic goes in at City, mm -hmm. where's Declan? Oh, listen, a, a good player can play in the side. I, 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 accordingly, that um, Declan was looking for, or his... Um, his advisors were looking for some sort of assurances that you know he will start in the, he will start in the team there and not wait around as Jack Grealish had to wait around for some considerable time. Mm. If you are a, you're a midfield player, you're going to be you're you're that type of player. Gundogan is leaving to go to Barcelona. Yes, they've got Kovacic coming in, and I think he's a really fine footballer. There's still room for a a, a player like Declan Rice in the side. Yeah. Uh, Simon, the other day when Graeme Sooners was in here, and of course, uh, mm. quite rightly, uh, was talking about how relieved he was that his uh, channel swim had gone to plan, and he did brilliantly. He also got on the subject about Declan Rice, and he also told us what he thought of Rice in the role that he plays. Listen, Martin. I think he'd be a really good guy. that would be great to work with. Extremely athletic. Um, senses danger, so he's got that part of a central midfield player game he's got that so he can you know he can get himself into a position where the guys you're playing against and want to find a strike or make a cute pass he goes he knows that he knows that and, and not everyone can get that so he's got that instinctively what he doesn't have is a cute and clever pass he's when he gets in the last third I think he's a little bit of predictable when he gets on the ball but and this is not a criticism you know we're talking about someone who's been worth 100 million quid but for me the top midfield players have what he has and have the cuteness of play further up the field, and they score goals, and they, and they create chances. Yeah. His record is 204 games, 10 goals, 10 assists. Um, that, you're not talking about... A midfield player, when you speak to a midfield player, to what position you are, I'm an attacking midfield player. How many goals do you get? Oh, no, I'm not, that's not the priority for me. But well, you just said you're an attacking it, midfield it, it player. Too predictable, not enough cute passing. Is that something that Pep and Arteta would need to work on, Martin? Well, I, I, yeah. Graham... I love Graham to bits now. Didn't necessarily when he was a player. Um, <laughs> you know, filthy. Um, yeah, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Really? Oh, Graham over the top. You know, I think that was his middle name. But brilliant footballer. Brilliant footballer. So influential in the Liverpool side, which is one of the great sides in in uh, in the last uh, well since the uh, post Second World War. No question about that. There, fantastic filthy. players, and he was, the, he was the driving force of the side. Really good player. I'm not. Well, he's he's asking for Declan Rice to be everything. Is Declan Rice is I suppose considered. Um, a defensive midfield player. He definitely can cut off danger, he can do a lot of those things. I think he's a wee bit more cute than in, in the passing than uh, than uh, Graham's given credit for. Is he a, is he a goal scorer? No. Was Graham a goal scorer? Well, Graham scored his 
a, a fair number of goals, but you're not prolific from, from middle no, of the field. True, true. That is true. If you're looking for a prolific goal scorer in that Liverpool side, then Terry McDermott scored you know, scored 20 goals. But in truth, I used to think rather cynically that if you've got Kenny Dalglish playing up front, you could hold the ball for 15 minutes. You could have gone into the you could have gone into the dressing room, had a cup of tea, and come back out again and, and scored from uh, <laughs> yes. scored from uh, that. So overall. Um, a really fine footballer, Declan Rice. I played him three times in three in three international games, and the one particular pass I remember in one of the games that he saw, he saw an opening. I remember he's eighteen years of age at this stage, and he saw he saw an opening in the game and slid this little pass through. It was only fifteen yards, but an absolutely brilliant pass. That I, and I I thought for a young lad to see that pass at the time. So I think what I'm trying to say is that those things can be developed if this is what you're looking for, the all round player. And in time, and Declan Rice is still a very young man, I think all of those things can be honed and I think can be improved in the game. In fairness, but, in fairness to Filthy Sooness, um, <laughs> he was pushing back against the characterization that people were suggesting that, that Declan Rice was this all encompassing a central midfield player. And Graham was going, well, hang on a second. I did an evaluation from them earlier on the season. He's sitting in a certain position, and maybe it's a centre back role that he will end up playing in. But if you're asking me if he's a midfield, he's the complete midfield player. I don't think he sees certain passes mm. at this stage, mm. and he scores ten goals in two hundred games. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, we had soonest about his record, but he yeah. then, then baited and switched and said, well, if I was playing in today's football yeah. with different pitches, I scored mm -hmm. 54 goals in 300 games mm -hmm. and I'd have scored a lot more if I was playing yeah. in modern football. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think that's right. I think absolutely. Sunas was a wonderful footballer. Yeah, really? he'll tell you that as well. Yeah. I, no, no, he yeah. does. Every single, every, every single time I have a conversation <laughs> with him and he chides me if I, if I don't mention it to him, you know. So, yeah, <laughs> really, really fine player. Played with a lot of great players as well too. You know, he had Lawrence mm. at the back he had handsome yeah. sensational yeah. players and as I say to a master at centre forward who could have held the ball up as I say for as yeah. long as you wanted to do so he had he had all of those particular things yeah, in on, time on, I take a, I take his point I know what Declan is Calvin Phillips not a bit of a warning to Declan should he end up at City no, not necessarily. No, it's getting, I think it's getting back to the point. If you feel as if you've got something about yourself and you've got a bit of... there's uh, De Declan Rice has has done really well in the last couple of seasons. Really well for the for, for both the, uh, club side and country. And I'm quite sure that he... Do you think he's a £100 million footballer? When you close your eyes well, and think of it that way. Well... I know well, the market will pay what the market pays. Well, that's right, and you've always said this, and that's the, and that's all I can make the judgment on. Did I ever think that supposedly a defensive midfield player would I, would I have seen four years ago that a defensive midfield player would be worth a hundred million pounds? No, I didn't see that. I didn't see mm -hmm. that. You know, mm -hmm. but it's what. Well, it's gone mad, right? Yeah.